I'd say one thing that I'm constantly learning and I've learned in the past, um, the past seven years since I've had Art Cafe, um, has really been patience. Um, not every year in this past seven years has been profitable. Um, not every year in the seven years has been a busy year for us. Um, but there's always challenges that I that I face and that I see, and I I've been teaching myself more and more patience and perseverance um, with an idea that you really, that you're really passionate about. Um, it's great to see something that you actually think about in your head, uh, you know, come actually happen and come to fruition. But uh, it does take a lot of patience and um, definitely patience. Um, I mean, for example, with the art cafe, we started off as a little room with little room for expansion because there was another store front taking up all the space here. And it was really a matter of patience until we were able to break her down into allowing us to take the back space to expand, allowing us to take our entire space to expand. And that's something that took me a long time to even, um, you know, it was something I imagined um, happening and I saw the potential and of how great it would be. Um, but it did, didn't happen for six years of us being in operation. Uh, up until that sixth year when it did happen, um, actually seeing it work and seeing it take place was a great, great feeling. But throughout that six years, you know, it's a feeling of, feeling of being stuck, you know, the business, you know, you have to be creative with how you're going to expand the business without expanding the space. Yet, um, you know, I stuck through with it and I, you know, would, I would talk to her every day about it. I'd go in, I'd, I had made an offer to her, I would talk to her about, you know, potential retirement for her, I'd talk to her about her grandkids, you know, going to Florida, you know, just try to, you know, work the situation for my benefit, and, and it finally did work for us, and, um, you know, it was the best situation for both of us, and, um, and that's that, I mean, it was, it was a lot of patience, and, and pushing through, you know, even feelings where I'm like, well, you know, it's so frustrating, the business isn't expanding, you know, it's, it's, it's staying stagnant, like, how can I, you know, increase cash flow without, you know, actual having more seating, and so finally having more seating was a great feeling, you know, knowing that it would, it would actually work when we would reach that point, so it's definitely something big for us. That's neat. How did you stay motivated when you were, you know, every day? Um, it was, it was very difficult, um, you know, I mean, it's, I would work for many years without a salary, working just off tips and living, you know, because I knew that the business couldn't afford to pay me a salary. So for many years, I was just working here, um, you know, with the thought that, you know, if I did this and I did that, and, you know, I, I would just keep coming up with little obstacles or little things that I thought would make the business more profitable. So even if it was rearranging, we rearranged the space um, at one point, which allowed the kitchen to have a, a more efficient output. Um, and that was one, you know, step, even though it didn't like double our profits or double our cash flow, it made things more efficient, which allowed us to have less, um, less people working in the back there. Uh, output was greater. Um, so I, I kept building these little challenges in my head. Of how am I going to make things better? Um, even though it wasn't as big as, you know, expanding, you know, and doubling in size. It was still something that allowed me to to look to the next the next level of growth. Mm -hmm. um, and even now, you know, we've taken the entire space. My next challenges are, um, you know, building a real kitchen. Um, you know, right now we are operating out of a little small kitchen that we originated with, a small small kitchen that we we had a teeny space with. Mm -hmm. Now my plan is to build a legitimate kitchen that I can actually output catering, um, better quality food. Um, and really, really increase, increase our cash flow just, you know, with, with, uh, with a nice investment into something that's, you know, something that's very important in restaurants, so. That's great. Can you talk about a skill that you feel like you had to learn? Um, I've definitely learned a lot in terms of uh, managing people. Um, from, you know, the time I, we started hiring people, until now, I would say, you know, I've learned a ton through trial and error about managing people. The number of people that I've had working under me has been, you know, we, we keep people for a long time, but still, you know, in seven years, a lot of people have come and gone. And, um, 
you know, creating a culture. It's really important to create a, a work culture. Um, and as being a manager and being a, a people person, it's really important to create a culture that reflects upon my personality and how to how to build that and how to actually have it work for everybody is is something that I've definitely learned um, over the years. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel I feel like I've you know I've succeeded in many ways in that. So mm -hmm. it's it's very gratifying to see you know something that you've learned and, and struggled with in the past actually work and, and flow. Right, right. We, we use a concept in our camp called applied teachability. Like, don't arrive, keep learning. Yeah. Do you absolutely. feel that that's true for you, or? Um, yes. I mean, I, I would say, yes. I mean, I, I look at it more as like, I, I put challenges ahead of myself. You know, like I put, you know, the the next level of growth or the next level of, of you know, success ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, that's what I reach for, and through that I learn. Mm -hmm. Through having these, you know, little goals, like expanding the kitchen, um, you know, perhaps building an art gallery upstairs, you know, getting a beer and wine license. And through that, I have to learn, you know, how do you, what are the steps you take to get a beer and wine license? What are the steps you take to build a kitchen? Uh, you know, what is, how do you design a kitchen if you don't know what a legitimate kitchen is supposed to look like? And these are questions that through that motivation, through that, like, Seeing that that little obstacle, that goal that I'm that I'm that I want is is where I get the motivation to to teach myself and to you know kind of focus that energy on something specific because mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's hard to know what exactly is worth it for you to put your your learning your learning goals towards because um, you know the, there's so much to know so much to know in the food industry um, but what is it that I specifically need in my business to know and and to be Good at. For example, now it's very important for me to learn how to build a catering menu from scratch. <clears throat> um, you know how to how to gear it towards the consumer. Um, you know where it's where it encourages people to want to buy from you for catering. Um, how do I promote that? How do I build a system within within my management to encourage that? Mm -hmm. And those are things that I'm struggling with within you know the same realm of building the, you know the future kitchen. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's interesting. There's so much to learn. That's wild. That's yeah. great. And yeah. I know one of your staff started his own business, and you encouraged him. I think you kind of took him under your wing. It seems yeah. like to, to say, hey, you can do this. Absolutely. If you had a young person, and maybe he's probably the example of this, but a young person that wants to start a business with you, could tell him one thing. What would you tell him? Um, I mean, you just gotta you gotta get your feet off the ground. You know, you just gotta do. Um, sometimes you know it's it's great to to picture things in your head. It's great to imagine. Um, the hard part is actually doing and actually, you know, um, we have a lot of visionaries in this world. Um, I feel like we have a lot less doers and people who actually, uh, you know, take risks and do and, 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 you know, dedicate themselves to these ideas. You know, I, I hear, I have a lot of friends in, in businesses and in offices and they have all these ideas, this would be great, and they suggest things, yet they're, they're not willing to leave their job. They're not will willing to jump into something which I could completely identify with. But if you really want to get something accomplished, it's not just enough to, to think. It's, a, it's You also have to be a doer. Mm -hmm. um, you have to just start from someplace and let that you know suck you in. Yeah. How do you deal with the emotion of fear? Or maybe you'll have yeah. to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like fear isn't, isn't the dominant um, feeling that I have. I, I would say more... Um, the feeling of the, uh, uh, I guess in the past seven years, I've probably felt more stuck mm. than anything else. Um, not fear that something wouldn't work, but like the world isn't feeding into what I feel is, is, is supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, um, it is discouraging. It feels like a, you know, a punch in the stomach, in the gut, you know, just like, ah. Like I've been putting so much energy into this, so much of my, my, my intention into this, um, that, that is, I think, is something that I've um, felt more in this past few years rather than, than fear, because I know that, you know, I, I try to, you know, embrace the fact that I know that the concept is good, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it's, it's proven, it's just a matter of uh, making it work within our boundaries, so. That's great. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, 
I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just really, I think it's really important to do. I mean, with, you know, some people who've worked here before who want to start their own business, you know, the only thing I could say to them is just, just do, just go. Like, you know, start, start it, do something. You know, invest in a website, just get something off the ground because once something becomes real, it'll motivate you. Like once something actually, you actually see your first customer, you actually see your first, um, your first reaction to your product or to your service, uh, that's when you're going to be like, wow, like I've actually accomplished something.